Hello students, Stride here again. Today we're going to be doing some notes on section 6.2, classification of elements. A couple of key objectives you need to be able to understand. You need to explain why elements in the same group have similar properties, and you'll need to be able to identify four blocks of the periodic table based on their electron configuration. Here we get some of the things that I explained a little bit about in Chapter 5. Now textbooks get into these topics. Review vocab. Sure you understand what a valence electron is. Electron and out atoms, outermost orbitals, determines chemical properties. Our main idea for this section, elements are organized in different blocks in the periodic table according to their electrons' configurations. Again, this section, as we went through Chapter 5, we've already done this, so we mostly review. Again, electrons in the highest principal energy level are called valence electrons. All group 1 elements have one valence electron. Energy level... The valence electrons indicates the period in which it's found. And we've looked at this. If, have, if it's valence electrons are in energy level 2, it's going to be in period 2. As you get out to groups 13 through 18, it's 10 less than the group number. Or again, this will be the on the A system on periodic tables. Group 13 is group 3A, and then it's either there are three valence electrons, and that process repeats as we move on through 14, 15, and so forth. So here's the valence electrons. Again, as we're looking at some of these, like group 2, and 13, and 14, as we write these electron dot structures, like for beryllium, I want it as BE double dot. Corresponds better to that S sublevel. Boron would be two dots and then a single. I believe a better way to write than what they've done here. And there's this S, P, D, and F box I've talked about before. Again, we got the S block the P block, the D block, and the F block. So, S block, groups 1 and 2. Group 1, S orbital with 1 electron. Group 2, S orbital with 2 electrons. Then after the S orbital is filled, we look at the P, group 13 through 18, typically our, is what we're going to call our P block, and we're filling up that P sublevel. D block, largest block, transition metals. Mm -hmm. There are certain exceptions, and in most things we deal with there are exceptions, but they typically have a filled S orbital, and a partially filled D orbital. So D can hold 10, so 10 groups. F, inner transition metals. F elements, usually filled, but sometimes usually filled, sometimes partially filled S orbitals. And then mostly partially filled F orbitals. So F, or F sublevel 14 electrons, so 14 groups. Well, again, just a lot of review of some stuff I've already explained to you. So this section is mostly review. And not one of the blocks of the periodic table. Currently there is no G block. Maybe someday there will be. 14 elements, that's the F block. Remember, S block, 2 elements, B block, 6 elements, 
F block, 14 elements, and the one they didn't list, a D block, 10 elements. So, that's it for today. Till next time, we'll be looking at section 6.3.